Biden administration has a global focus. It means that its focus is looking at problems that are worldwide, and I'll get into those specifically. When Tony Blinken sits down with Ursula von der Leyen, what they have said is that there are four priorities that they're working on. And those four priorities are the pandemic, climate change, trade, and digital governance. Now, you don't hear the word Balkans in there. You don't hear Russia. You don't hear a lot about NATO. You don't hear a lot about traditional security. It's going to be a foreign policy based on principles, values, and relevance, of course, to U.S. national security interests. U.S. has changed, and I think uh, that democratic change in U.S. Uh, has been, you know, seen and there were, there were there was great interest of the whole of the world to see that dramatic change i think what the americans will do is say in which ways can the balkans contribute to the broader global issues that we all have to deal with i think the best thing for example for serbia would be also to go into democratic change if it wants to um, have principal cooperation uh, and value-based um, um, relationship with the U.S. We should show respect for the Serbian people. You do that by supporting the Serbian people in their efforts to have a government that represents their views, a democratic government. We're on the side of the Serbian people. We don't want systemic corruption. We don't want a media landscape that's completely dominated by the government. But I think apart from these specific issues, what uh, would be uh, appealing for a new American administration and probably for better image of Serbia uh, in the US is that uh, Serbia embrace rule of law. It should embrace um, multilateralism, it should embrace Euro-Atlantic uh, integration, it should lead by example where uh, Serbia probably has the biggest potential because of the uh, because it's, it, it's the largest country in the region and this can be probably at the end it would uh, eventually lead to better uh, partnership between the uh, Serbia and us. I think the Americans know that it, it's not enough to wave our fingers at our, 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 our Balkan friends and say, you should be democratic, you know? We know that doesn't work. What does work? Well, at least taking into account that you have a terrible brain drain problem, that there's hopelessness among young people who don't see uh, opportunities in the future. The diplomats need to be helped by American businesses. They have to be helped by American civic organizations. They have to be helped by American um, subnational leaders like governors and senators. And I would hope that the United States in dealing with Kosovo and Serbia will bring to bear not just a couple of uh, negotiators, but instead really begin to talk about these things, these issues that are the, the problems preventing Serbia and Kosovo from realizing their potential.